so proud. I feel safe. There's a sense of peace that comes to me because everyone here, including our wonderful volunteers, they all look after us and want us to be a successful team. So thank you so much for all of your support. Going to the graduations of the guide dog ceremonies is probably the most touching thing that you could ever do. People who donate their time for free in Colorado spend their money to fly to California to watch people they don't even know graduate with a dog that they didn't even raise, but maybe they're there to watch a dog or had helped. Because these dogs give these blind people so much independence that they never had before, and I just feel very lucky to have been able to help them with that. Going from, for myself, just saying, going from being sighted to a cane, you know, people like were, jumped out of the way, like suddenly, not only am I blind, but I have leprosy. But also just moving about, like it took what little eyesight I had, it, it would hurt just going out for walks because on a mobility level, um, it took time to focus and use that energy. It's really about giving something amazing to someone who doesn't have their sight. I mean, this dog is a best friend, a companion, and is really a tool for their independence. And I thought, wow, this is cool. I can let my eyes relax and enjoy the walk. <laughs> Actually, not feel like it's a, this horrible thing. Um, just Rapunzel makes it fun to be able to, she makes it having a buddy, like she's my buddy, like, you know, it's, uh, she's a rock star. So I see this as like the ultimate gift that I could give someone. Everywhere we go, people love Rapunzel, but it's like, they, they, it's like people act in two ways. Here's the rock star theory. They either act normal, like themselves, and treat you like the normal, right? because we are all just the same, actually. Or they don't know how to act, and then they get all weird. They see the dog first, and then they see a woman with the dog. I would definitely say that my dog has helped me meet a whole lot of other people. Like just the guide dog group, there's so many different amazing people in this community that I would never have met otherwise, besides through the guide dog organization, in that they're also raising guide dogs. But also when I'm walking down the street, I meet so many fun people. Just being, um, being around people, just to get out like to the store, ugh, it, it was huge. I couldn't like just get to the store for months. It was like, ugh. it was like psychologically, look, I'm already like, ah. <laughs> it was, it's really harsh, man, to, to do, to go through a big change. I think a lot of people, only see community service as a chore, but really, if you find something that you're passionate about, it can be so much fun. My dog and I, when we get out, um, side, we're quite a team. We, we move together quite well. She is beautiful, and I think I have the most beautiful dog because she's got beautiful Cleopatra eyes, so I can say now, I've got beautiful Cleopatra eyes, <laughs> and she will let me see the world as my Frida has. And I want to thank you and all of the puppy raisers with your love, your commitment for raising these dogs for us.